let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance don't make it like a stagnant pool design a pile cap by few clicks part 3 four piles cap hello everybody i am ps strategy with you today i am going to explain how we can prepare excel pro forma for the design of four piles cap if you are watching my video first time please start from part 1 and part 2 for more explanation i hope you are going to enjoy this video your like share comment subscription and views are the inspiration and remuneration of my hard work before start of the lecture please like share and subscribe my channel this is our four piles cap dimensions of the pile caps length la width lv spacing s column dimension cx in x direction cz in z direction dimension of punching area bx in x direction is equal to 2 into d punch plus cx bz in z direction is equal to 2 into d punch plus cz overall depth d punching depth d punch lever arm for type 6 that is four pile cap in x direction jx is equal to 0.5s and zz is equal to 0.5s load on pile cap for type 6 that is four pile cap total self weight on pile cap is equal to sw capital sw self weight on each pile is equal to small sw is equal to capital sw divided by 4 Say load on P1 and P2 is equal to R1. R1 max is equal to small s W plus F Y Y4 plus absolute M X divided by Z Z divided by 2 plus absolute M Z by J X divided by 2. R1 minimum is equal to small s W plus F Y Y4 minus absolute M X. Divided by Z Z divided by two plus absolute M Z divided by J X by two, and similarly for P three and P four, say load is equal to R two. R two max is equal to small S W plus F Y by four plus absolute M Z divided by J J X by two plus absolute M Z by J X. Divided by two, and R two minimum is equal to S W plus F Y by four minus absolute M Z by J X divided by two plus absolute M Z by J X divided by two. Shear force and bending moment for type four six that is four pile cap maximum. S F C F force is equal to B is equal to 2 into R1 max. Maximum B M M X is equal to 0.5 into S into 2 into R1 max. Maximum C F force in Z direction B is equal to 2 into R1 max. Maximum bending moment in Z direction 0.5 into S into 2 into R1 max. Now I'm switching over to the Excel spreadsheet for numerical calculation. Welcome to my Excel spreadsheet. Before start of the new design, we have to change all these parameters. Say one second zero, load reduction zero, group efficiency not accepted. If C K say twenty five five hundred okay, you need to wait okay. Say so column size four five zero by four five zero. Now pile in hard clay soil 
diameter main capacity pile capacity 500 overall depth 800 punching depth say 850 look here punching depth cannot be more than overall depth so it will be say 750 side projection 850 side projection cannot be more than overall depth uh, sorry side 850 side projection cannot be more than overall depth so we have to change this say so it is 750 once again cover 25 and 25 mm bar in a along x 75 spacing 16 bar along z and 200 spacing now we have to do one thing load this is column service load copy data entry and then paste here paste spatial value okay now go to footing design look here minimum number of pile required 4.005 this is maximum so I'm changing three to four pile. When our pile is on hard clay, minimum spacing required one two five zero. We have provided one five zero zero. So we have to change one two five zero. Okay. Look here, maximum load on pile is more than pile capacity. Now we are considering increment say oh 30% allowable increment 50% we are considering 30% once again not okay 50% it is okay now load reduction say 14% it is okay so capacity and load is okay put punching depth is equal to 600 then punching stress is not okay so 650 it is okay side projection we can increase up to 800 75 25 now look very close to each other design shear stress 0.62 newton per millimeter square calculated shear stress 0.64 newton per millimeter square so we have to increase this 850 and our design is okay This is the detail of our calculation and this is our design summary. And this is all about my design of pile caps by few clicks part 3. I hope you enjoyed it. Part 4 will be released very soon. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also evaluate my performance with your valuable comments. Thank you.